What's up? Good evening. Good evening. Hey guys, how's it going? We discussed that already. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, yeah, we determined that some days you should get up, look at the day, go back to bed, and hope it's tomorrow again when you wake up. Yeah. So I, I told Courtney, you know, yeah, you guys know where I work. I work in, a, uh, in an insane asylum. Uh, and, <laughs> and I told my wife when I get, got home, I said, you know, I, I, I'm just kind of out of it. I gave everything I had while I was at work, and there's nothing left over for you. Oh. <laughs> and sometimes that's kind of how you feel when you get home. I mean, you're you're just drained, just done. Yeah. But I got to show off my rocks. It worked. So there you go. good day. Because I have patients that will come and seek me out, even if they see me in the cafeteria and stuff. I've got a guy say, "Hey, Dave, have you have you made any new cabs? Have you got any new rocks uh, since the last time we <laughs> talked?" And so that's the highlight of my day. Right. No, that's awesome. I love it. Sorry, oh, we have two Facebook users. Howdy, howdy. Hello, hello. Oh, my goodness. Have no clue who they are, but we have users. Uh, Looks like Victoria and Frank. Nice. Oh, hello, yeah, hello. Yeah, see, on mine, they just come up generic. Yeah. Hey, Charles. Yeah. Uh, no, that's uh, Andrew's probably Not watching. Oh, it's Dwayne. Let's do hello. So what's been going on, everybody? Not much. I'm like 51 hours into no vape. Oh, wow. Good for you. I don't know what. Vaping. It's been yeah. rough. But I'm I'm doing I just nice. working on a house and cutting rocks. Yeah. There you go. There you go. I'm Play envious. Point. That's it, though. Mm -hmm. I haven't <laughs> cut a rock in three weeks. Quit that well, huh? I can't say I can't say I'm cutting it all because Monica's been spending a lot of time running the saw while I'm working. So oh, nice. I, it's, it's pretty much Monica. That's one piece I just showed everybody else, but we'll show everybody in the room. Yeah, yeah. Show light. Hey, Victoria. I love Yo, you. Yo, you got a UV sitting around anywhere there, Brad? Yeah, I bet that. It's in my. Place in my box packed in the trailer from the show oh uh, i, I yeah, went to I, look for it so i could see if it was yeah i would think oh that wait monica's digging in a box she might have a surprise for me here there you go there you go from she the, might know where my yeah, other uv light is <laughs> the pinks in there it's not as good of uv as it normally is but I love the pink. The Me too. I was about to say it's well worth it. So amazing. I, I wish you had a spray bottle to get that wet so we could see those colors pop. Right? Monica, spray bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney, it, dude. Oh, there, there you, you go. Look at that. There you go. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, that's gorgeous. You notice any chatoyance in the dark areas? I haven't noticed any, but I haven't looked at it that close. Oh, oh pretty. Yeah. Look at that's feet. just a regular total light. That's, that's really just a oh, style total light. To replace Brad's face for a second. But I, I love it when you get those, that those really blue. thin lightning strikes through mm -hmm. there, and then you get the lighter blues on yeah. top of like the royal blues. Yeah. Look, look at the patterns in that. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Oh. oh, thank you. Thank you. That really did help. That's yeah, great. That's cool, right? Look at that. That's cool. Wow. wow. So Bring me a piece of that blue it back. It looks babe. like a storm. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, that's what it reminds me of. It's kind of a, a radar yeah. picture, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah. With the swirls. Yep. Yeah. yeah. She's yeah, going to bring me a piece of the regular. Okay. Just a plain old soda light. Up for him. Just because you can see it. Oh, this is the one you blocked my face with. 
I mean, this is a pretty nice. There you go. Look at the oh, dark. Yeah. Wow. And that is still my favorite. I that love the classic blue and white. It's not my That's top beautiful. five favorite cutting things. I love yeah. to cut that. Yeah, sunlight's a yeah, lot. It, cut. It's been yeah. nice. It's been. Should Very be cool. real Jimmy. Real Jimmy. Hold that, on. That, that one that you just showed, Brad, 100% is going to UV. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. one with That's the cool. single white. It's right, K-12. Yeah. That, oh, man, it looks like a planet. Hold on, I'm going to make it big again. Look at that. Good Lord. That's right there. Crazy. Wow. It looks like a porcelain swirl. Brad, you, you it owe does. it to the viewers to take a picture of that slab right there. And really nice it, on yeah. your phone and post it on the Facebook page for people to see. My goodness. Yeah, that's that is gorgeous. disgusting. <laughs> Tell it how it is. You just showed a lot of slabs, and that was the only one I was like, "Yes, Brad." Right? Yeah, yeah they're, very, they're very some pretty cool. nice pieces. I don't. Monica just slipped on her boots and says, "I know where there's a UV light. I'll be right back." Ah, so we'll see. You she might have there a UV go. light hey, hidden somewhere. Hey, Christine. So Dave and I were talking um, right before we went live, um, before you guys came on real quick about doing a, like a Hollywood Squares kind of game show, maybe one show where, uh, you know, like the, the audience, viewers, whatever you want to call yourselves out there, um, pick one of us oh, 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 oh. for points. I knew that one was going to. Oh, yeah. You see that orange? Even with all his yeah. lights on, you can see that orange. Turn off the lights, yeah. babe. Please and thank you. Yeah, please and thank you. <laughs> there you go. We're oh, my goodness. We're dealing that for sure. Yeah, that's yeah, beautiful. You've got tons of slabs like that. That's gorgeous. Yeah, oh, that really. this come out of about a 50-pound piece. It never gets old. It never gets old. Let's see. <laughs> that rock porn. shouldn't oh. be very much. Does it? Yeah, not really. But, yeah, see, I called it it's earlier. It's still dang. freaking beautiful, though. You, you, there yeah. is some areas in there. It's just not all of it like the other yeah, stuff. Yeah, like the other one. Yeah, it's not as lie, If it was me and I was going to buy one of those, I would have bought the second one that didn't UV. Yeah, all day. You know, <laughs> all day long. I about yeah. that UV with those patterns and that other one. I was just yeah, that would. There's a couple of them actually that have got that same kind of pattern to them or close to it. It's pretty cool. Nice. You shouldn't nice. look into that, man. <laughs> <laughs> into the UV light? Yeah. <laughs> it's like looking at an eclipse. What'd you guys do for the yeah. eclipse? Anybody yes. have any, any fun and exciting eclipse stories? Word. I missed it. <laughs> Holy crap. We had like 25% here was all, so it wasn't even noticeable. Okay. I was yeah. fast we, Oh, look at that one. We, um, a friend of mine came to the store specifically, oh, yeah. you know, just to hang around with all the rocks and, and do the eclipse. <laughs> and we were so busy chatting that we just totally missed it. But it, it wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't all of that great, the, you know. Now, a lot of people made a really big thing out of it. I've, I've seen a couple of eclipses, and I guess yeah. I'm just one of those people. I'm not overly impressed. Thank you, sweetie. I remember when I was, like, in second grade, maybe, second, third grade, mm -hmm. I had a um, where we made the little light boxes, right? But mm -hmm. it got, like, yep. really, really Back in dark. the 70s. Yeah, and it got really dark. I mean, that was like an eclipse eclipse, right? right? So that's what I was expecting, and it just wasn't. It got, you know, a little bit light, you know, a little bit dark, but not even noticeably. Like I said, we missed it completely. We were sitting there chatting, looking out the window, and she literally was like, I think we might have missed it. It's past the time. <laughs> Same way here. So, just... Yeah. I sat in the front room and it got dark. Hey, guys, I got whipped cream in my hot chocolate. Nice. <laughs> That's hilarious. He said a lot of people were in the dark about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the 99.9%. .9%. Nice. Okay. So you I, actually, yeah. I guess uh, there were a lot of other people that just felt enlightened over it. 
Yeah. <laughs> See, two can play that game. Yeah, a few yeah, videos yeah. online where people did like a time lapse. Yeah. And it was insane. I was like, man, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. And that's kind of what I expected was, you know, I don't know. I was I was relatively disappointed. So. You gotta say I I got to see it. I think I want to say it was October. I was in Rock Springs doing a rock show, and we seen it up there. But here in Utah for this one, it was only a partial. It was nothing spectacular here. Right. right. Yeah. It was. It seemed like it was a very narrow path, even though it you know went over the whole. It was just a real narrow strip. Yeah. But we were supposed to be like 86% or something where I am. And it it for sure wasn't. So. Yeah, we had like 99% cloud coverage. Oh, we really? Really? by the clouds. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say, I actually, one of the, a rock store owner I know here in Utah, he went down to, he, he traveled to Texas just so he could see the eclipse. And he was paying six hundred dollars a night to stay in the Motel Six. Oh That's how God. expensive the hotels got down there. That's insanity. That's what I said. I it wasn't that impressive to me to go spend that kind of money. Right, right. Frank's Frank's like us. He said, "I heard apocalypse and freaked out." <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. A friend of mine, what like she. She wouldn't come out of the house like for weeks leading up to it. She was certain the world was going to end or World War Three was going to see, you know, that all of this crazy stuff was going to start that day. And she literally buried herself in her house, didn't answer her phone, didn't answer any text, just. And then the next day she's like, I'm so sorry. I'm so stupid. <laughs> Like, well, you're not stupid. No, like, you know, like honestly, don't feed into all that hype. In that instance, what are you gonna do about it? Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Why yeah. are yeah. you stressing, dude? Just live your life. Yeah. Enjoy yeah. your life. Yeah. Oh my right. lord. Right. Yeah. People because, can use you know, that. Yeah. It, well, it's you know there was a lot of fear mongering going on, so she fed well, fear mongering, right? So don't pay yeah. Attention. Yeah. Exactly. Me and my dad were talking about it the other day. In your lifetime, think of how many times you've been told the world's going to come to end. Yep. You know, what, yep. 2002, was it? When, 2002, yeah. 2000, remember? Yeah. Oh, Y2K, oh my God. Y2K, yeah, yeah, we're at the end of the world. The, uh, every computer thing you know is going to collapse. You won't be able to do nothing. <laughs> right, yeah. So in, 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 uh, in 2000, no, no, no. Um, I had two computer stores over in Idaho. And I had a guy that I know very well, a little older than me. He called me over to his coffee shop that he had then. And he said, hey, Dave, he said, uh, what do you think about this whole Y2K thing? He said, what's going to happen there? And I said, let me tell you, Ed, what's going to happen? I said, nothing. Right. He said, what do you mean? I said, look, I said, you've got every dime that everyone has, every rich man, every banker, the government is all tied up somewhere digitally in the computer systems. Do you think for a second they are not prepared and that they're going to allow all of this to go down where they cannot access? And he told me I was wrong. He drilled a well yeah. in his backyard. He put a hand pump on it. He bought groceries for years on end for him and his wow. family. It was my wow. it's my sister in law's stepdad. And fun. when Y two K came around, there were some really old computers that we would just back the buyouts up a few years until we could rebuild them. No right. big thing, right? Yeah. And yeah. over in Turkey somewhere, a commercial computer actually did go down. Oh, really? That was it. That was the only reported right. in the right. whole situation. Right, right, right. <laughs> Look, Scott says there's supposed to be a 90-day earthquake 90 days after the eclipse. So we'll see oh, if, okay. if we have a three-month-long earthquake somewhere. Um, um, I think that one's going to be in California, isn't it? Oh, somewhere. There are no new cracks to go rock searching in. No, no, there's, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's crazy. It's all just, you know. But like Ryan said, you know, what are you going to do? Whatever's going to happen yeah. is going to happen. And if it's, 
If your number's up, your number's up. None of us have any control over any of that. So just live. I tell you yep, what you do. Exactly. You, you have to prep for those occasions like that. So if there's going to yeah. be an eclipse and you think it's going to be the last day, you get up early, you fix yourself a sandwich and a and 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 a, a, a deal of water, and you go out and you go rock hunting one last time. That's right. Right. Go out and do whatever you love. Right. That's yeah. right. Yep. Yeah. Hey Scott, how are you? Um. Yeah. And I guess everybody deals with things in their own way, and that's okay. But I, I was just baffled by all. Of, you know, I worked and then worked and hung out with my friend for a couple hours and then worked. Same as any other day, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, I worked through the last earthquake. Did you? Yeah. I don't remember where it was. Hey, Scott. But I worked through it. I saw right. it on the news. Right. Yeah, we don't really get earthquakes we where we don't get I much am. here. You know, I mean, I think we have them, but they're generally so small that you don't even feel anything. You know, you read on the news or whatever, or you hear on the news that, you know, there was an earthquake somewhere in Maryland, and you're like, oh, really? Yeah, I didn't feel anything, you know. Well, I'm, I'm like Brad and Ryan. It's just another opportunity after an earthquake uh, opens things up to go find yeah. the new material. See what, see what Mother Earth puked up, right? right? <laughs> right. Yep. <laughs> oh, volcano? Well, the world open up it. for yes. us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Volcano, glaciers, you know, whatever. Um, there was not nearly this hype over the eclipse in Oregon back in 2017. We all went outside the office, checked it out. School, then it went back to work. That's right, right? Yeah. Well, weird though. You know, they keep I'm saying at. this is going to be the last one in our lifetimes, but then you read the next report, and there's one in October of this right. year. Right. It's like, right. is it the last one in our lifetime? Or is there one in six months? I right. mean, come on. Right. Well, I think, I think it's what the total eclipse, right? Because this was Something that's like what that, this yeah. whole big thing was supposed to be. It was the total eclipse. Um, this little town that we live in right here for all of Oregon, Dallas was the one place where it was going to be the most viewable. I have an acre of ground here, and I could have divided that into camp spots for $200 a night each. That's how many people oh, came into town. It, 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 you, you couldn't even drive here. It was right, crazy. Right, right, right. Yeah, it, it's, you know, it is a little bit crazy. You know what uh, I did? I blocked the front and went rock hunting. Right, right. Um, I do say that a lot, don't I? Um, I'm just reading comments. Europe's first total solar eclipse 27 years ago. It occurred on August 12th, 2026. <laughs> See, now, and that days. has a lot to do with it. 27 not, years ago, 2026. Right. It's no. not that there aren't going to be more eclipses. It's yeah. where you're at on the globe that there is going to be an eclipse. We have eclipses all the time. Absolutely. Yeah. It's yeah. just where you are at on, a, you know, which side of the equator or which pole you're closer to is whether or not you're going to see an eclipse that maybe nobody there has seen an eclipse in 400 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because of the way the earth moves and, and turns. Yep. And I'd still rather go rock cutting. Just it, something for people to get excited about. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What the heck? Well, you know, um, we we prompted a run on paper towels and toilet paper this time. Just, you know, just to watch the fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I know. Did remember. you guys? Go ahead, Brad. I, I see that somewhere. It might have been a Facebook post where somebody said he was going to go buy a hundred blow up dolls, fill them full of helium, and go let them out. So everybody thought it was a rapture just to see how excited <laughs> people got. <laughs> I like that. Well, did everybody else see? I mean, Facebook was just completely full of stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, people, you know. Uh, this this hype over the whole thing and why people think an eclipse is going to be dangerous I, I still can't figure out you know why why stock up on anything but people were running out and buying groceries and toilet paper, <coughs> paper towels and all kinds of stuff 
I think yeah. the only way that an eclipse can be dangerous is if like um, too many people stack up in big areas, then maybe roads could become hazardous, things like that. Right. Well, you saw you know, the other, other than that, I can't see it. You know what I mean? That all, all the traffic causing extra crashes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. That doctor and her family who were headed to see it uh, pulling an Airstream trailer. Somehow she fell out of that trailer and died going down the road. Fell out? What was she doing in the, the trailer? trailer? It, was, it was an Airstream camp trailer. And somehow going down Don't the road, open the she door fell out. When it's... Yeah. Moving now, That's this is a crazy. doctor, not a I don't know. I wow. wouldn't be opening the windows like right. a pool behind trailer, like yeah. not attached to the truck. Yeah, you shouldn't oh. be in there anyway. You shouldn't yeah. be in it going down the highway, anyway. you know, <laughs> evidently, not unless it's an RV where the vehicle and the, the yeah, whole driving, living uh, space motor is motorhome, you shouldn't right. be in there. You shouldn't right. be, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Frank, <laughs> they're still using toilet paper they got during COVID. <laughs> Right. If, if you only knew, word. sorry, <laughs> we got hit so hard here. We 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 didn't unexpect. I mean, I it was just something caught us off guard, and all of a sudden we can't get toilet paper. I went online, and the only toilet paper I could find were those great big. Remember the the great big round service station toilet paper? Yeah. And I bought two cases of those for thirty five dollars a case. <laughs> I still have all sixteen rolls of it. <laughs> yeah, it was like that here. We. For a while, you couldn't find toilet paper, but yeah. I'm weird about toilet paper anyway, just from being poor in the past. And uh, I always have crazy amounts of toilet paper, so we didn't have to. Guys, I live in Oregon. No big deal There's for trees us. everywhere. The way you stock on wheels, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. <laughs> we always have extra toilet paper, soap, shampoo, toothpaste. We could go probably a year without buying anything and be perfectly fine. Oh, We're Gordon! Start- this year, when the great, um, huh? when the great wheel handout, when the great uh-huh. Courtney wheel handout happens, I need on some the Norris. List. The great Courtney wheel. Handout. I need some Norris's, some, some black wheels. We call it Chuck Norris because it's black, like black belt. Ah, uh, got wow. it. So you need some two eighties. All right, I got you. Yeah. Why do you find special prices on your wheels? No, I just don't use them until they're completely worn out. So when I change them, I oh. I just stock them up, and uh, then I tend to give them away because even though I keep them so that maybe I'll use them again, right? You I don't. don't ever use them again. I end up giving them away. No. Like, uh, it's getting Matt. Hard. Matt got six hundreds. Yes, Matt got six hundreds last year, so Ryan will get two eighties this year. <laughs> she, she passes um, them down to all of the little people who can't afford to go buy wheels. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I really my wheels, but man, I will never turn down some wheels that I could pump out oh. some necklaces and stuff on ever. Right, right. Well, I, I know how she is. She waits until they get past a certain speed that she likes, and the second that that right. speed is gone, she's like, "Nope." Yep. And it's then we get into what the, I do. Yeah, like, I don't care. Well, if you're doing we're just, working, we're just working. We don't care. Yeah. If you're doing production, that's fantastic. For a hobby cabber like me, you've gotten those wheels just broken in where they work perfect for right. what somebody like I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's there's still plenty of use in them. I just when I am cabbing a lot, I I don't want it to take. You know, it's it's about the speed for me um, and getting them done. So it's uh, yeah. See, there's Jaws saying the thing. same thing. Like getting partially used. Yep, exactly. Yep, yep. Oh, just hit me up, Scott. I give them out for free. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to certain people, not to everybody, right? I did. I did actually sell a few way back. Who was the guy I sold them to, Ryan? Do you remember? It was a friend of yours um, that had hit me up and asked me about wheels. But because those are Novas, those are still a hundred dollar wheel. Oh, yeah. Right? Easy. They're I don't what, remember two, who it 225 was. New? I don't remember either. Yeah, that was a long time ago. I'll put you on the list, Scott. We're just not getting to that point to where I've talked to so many people. Like, yeah. I, I remember most. You know what I mean? Right. But right. if you came to one show 
five years ago and said hi to us and got a giveaway all of a sudden and then you come in the show now and you're like i want a giveaway five years ago i'm like i'm sorry dude yeah, I said, yeah, hi yeah. come have some fun but i don't know <laughs> Ryan's like i can't remember five weeks ago yeah, I, yeah. Well, of course i can what do you mean I don't know, you know who it was it was Dwayne miller Dwayne Miller oh, okay. bought a couple okay. of wheels for me for like, I think I did them for 20 or 30 bucks each. I didn't charge him a lot. Um, yeah. Had I, like, I would give them to Dwayne today because I know him a little bit better today. You got the coolest I, I, job, dude. I didn't know him then. The coolest you know what I job. Mean? Dwayne, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he Dwayne sets up shows and then does the security for rock stars, dude. Yep. Yep. And then plays with rocks on the side. Mm-hmm. All right, then. That'd be a good what job. A, what a life, though, eh? He's a oh, rock yeah. rocker. Yeah, that's wow. great. Wow. So I did want to mention, before I forget, we had, um, I don't know if you guys saw the, well, yeah, I'm sure you did, because we talked about it in the chat. We had somebody um, in our group that took the pictures that Dawn posted of her setup. Um, and use them to try and sell a used Cab King, right? Oh, no. Yeah. It, wow. it was the whole thing. So they, they well, stole well, her well. pictures off of our group, made a post. It was a whole, but that's what that post that I made was about, right? Okay. Um, that makes sense. Dwayne Holloway saw it, took a screenshot, sent that to me. And that's what that post was about. Um, so I figured out who it was, deleted them and banned them from the group, um, sent them a not so nice message, made a not so nice comment on their post in the sales group. And then they tried to actually post their sales post for her equipment in our group as well. Oh my gosh. Yep. Yeah. So I want to thank Dwayne for pointing that out and for sending the message. Um, because I think that's, you know, that's what we do here, right? It's fantastic. Yeah, no, that's good right? looking out for it's people. So great looking out. Um, we appreciate that from Dwayne. And, uh, you know, if anybody ever sees anything like that, definitely let do us you have, know. Do you have proof of everything? I have, um, hey, Joyce, I have the screenshot that Dwayne sent me. Okay, do you know who Wayne Shrimp is? No. Shrimp, like I'll, get, shrimp. I'll get you his info. Yeah, he's one of the guys that tells everybody who's scammers and who's not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If we get that over to him, he'll, he'll okay. make sure and he'll tell everybody. He'll I'll tell send everybody. it to you. I'll forward I don't like scammers you. either. F that. We're honorable people. Yeah, Everything exactly. we do. Everything and we, we want, try to do. And we want everybody to, to be comfortable sharing their stuff on our inner group. Yeah. Too. Right. Right. And not have to worry about somebody, you know, doing something like that. So um, I was very appreciative of the heads up. And but I just kind of wanted to, you know, again, thank Dwayne and just explain what that was about, because I know it was a little bit cryptic <laughs> and I was in a I was in a mood that day. So, yeah, no. And guys, we literally don't care if you, the way that you enjoy rocks is you walk down the beach and just look at the beach of rocks. Like I, guys, we don't care. Right. Just a picture. share, share yeah. a picture and share a picture. tell us what that's you right. love. Right. Yeah. That's all we want to know. Yeah. That's what that group is for. It's, it's for this family um, to share stuff. So some, some, uh, I'm going to say it this way, and, and if anybody is that person, I apologize. But yeah, we don't want the redheaded stepchildren of, you know, in, in the group. We just don't. Um, and I, I, I preface that way because um, my son is a redheaded stepchild. So he, he kind of gets, <laughs> gets a little offended when I use that term. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like, we don't know. Uh-uh. you got to go. So, yep. um, I was laughing at what Scott said. 
Yeah, I, it's probably a good idea, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get in those kind of moods very often, but it is not pretty when I do. Ryan, I talked to Courtney when she's in the mood before, yeah, dude. It's, it's what? Not, is it? <laughs> you just talk to her and be like, hey, Court, are you okay? What's wrong with you people? What do you mean? What do you mean? Courtney's amazing, guys. You don't even know. Even Since we got on that subject about those sellers, yeah, um, and pr probably a lot of people here know, but maybe a lot don't. So we have the Facebook, uh, the Lapidary Marketplace. We have Lapidary Machine Sales, all of those on there. Right. And you go in all the time and you see some nice stuff for sale. Never, ever reply to it until you've clicked on their name went and checked out their website right find out if they've interacted with people if it looks like they especially if they have some odd name like lapidary sales well yes that's th those aren't even allowed names right and when i find something that even looks suspicious I, you know me courtney i am very very bold yes. i'm right back to that ad on that thing and i'm saying ad man you need to look at this because this is a scammer if you're not a scammer i'm sorry but you look like a scammer get out of here and i just tell them you don't belong here leave the website i'm 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 pretty rude about it if you don't and have honest reviews i'm out right I'm out. Yeah. exactly so like, unless you're like courtney's thing. guy her indo guy which i don't know if he has any reviews or not does does he have reviews on his page no i don't know but he's built a reputation through word of mouth you know what I mean? Which right. is good yeah. by me sometimes too. Yeah, but. he's a good dude. Um, I'm going to go look right now, actually. Because like I if told... somebody didn't tell me about you that I trust, I'm not. I'm, I'm just out. Right. Dude. I'm not right. doing it. Right. No way. No, because his page is a personal page. It's not really a yeah. sales page per se. It's not a business page per Guys, se. Guys, if you're wanting to get into this and you're wanting to sell some stones, just make a business page. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not yeah. hard, bro. It's just... You got it. You got yeah, it. And it, it does help to, I don't know, I, you know, I did it and I don't know why you guys did yours separately, but I did mine as a separate deal for two reasons. Um, one, to keep my personal separate from my business. That's exactly right? what I was going to say. Because I think that's really important. Um, and two, because on your business page, you can get reviews. You can, you yeah. know, your followers right. as opposed right. to friends, your, you know, all of that kind of stuff. And, and it, it, it does make a difference. Um, you can even set your pages up to post to each other automatically, I believe. I know you can set them up to post to Instagram automatically. Like if you, like if I you post definitely to Facebook, can. it can automatically post to Instagram. Um, so it, it's, it's just another way to, to keep your name out there separately from your personal views. Right. Yep. Um, I try to, I'm careful a little bit on my, even on my personal page. Um, because I've got such a wide variety of people that right. I do business with that are also now friends on my personal page <clears throat> that number one, I don't care what your political views are. I don't care about any of that crazy stuff. Uh, right? I don't do none of that on my page either. Zero. And so I don't ever want to run the risk of losing um, customers or friends over some dumb stuff. I would never lose a friend because over politics. It doesn't ridiculous. Matter. Right. Like I know what I believe in and, and you can tell me what you believe in if you want to or not. It doesn't matter to me. Right. Like I, I care about you as a person because you're a person, you know, and we either get along or we don't politically. It's not anybody's business, in my opinion. Like I, I'm not going to go out there and just be like, here's my political view. I'm just not. Um, I think it's bad for business. But that's my opinion, right? So, um, yeah. politics and religion are two things, in my opinion, yeah, that can stay right. away from any conversation because you're yeah. going to butt heads eventually with somebody over those two subjects. <laughs> right, right. Shoot, nowadays you don't even talk about that kind of stuff at the dinner table. At the dinner you know table. what I mean? Yeah. 
They yeah. have, there's, there's three subjects you don't talk about. It's politics, religion, and what's the third one? Is it sex or money? One of those two. Or the two of them together. Maybe both, maybe both for that matter, Sex right? And money. <laughs> you know, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if they happen to go together in your life, you don't yeah. talk about it. Um, but there are, yeah, there's just certain things it doesn't, you don't talk about them, you know? I, no, I keep I our charity yeah, right, page Kelly. completely free. Yep. No, Life is way too short page, to be bringing up little fights between like, people. Like, like that. I honestly feel like people do that just because they like drama. Some do. Oh yeah, I like My to put up things them. that people see and they go yes or they laugh. You know right. what I mean? Right. Or like really artistic stuff. Like, yeah. I don't know. Uplifting, encouraging, pretty. Yeah. Isn't there um, back? You know, but you're right. Some people do thrive on the drama and the chaos. And there's, an, there's not a lot of people in our industry that are like that, though. I'll tell yeah. you that. I don't know a lot that are like that in our industry. Artists are like that, dude. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know a lot of artists that are like that. Right. I don't either. Um, I have seen some that are very convicted in their beliefs, and that's fine. But it, well, that's yeah. got no place in business, you know. Um, well, but some even most times, does. adults, hopefully, hopefully, guys, as adults, it doesn't conflict in friendship either. That has nothing it to do with anything. It shouldn't. Yeah. It's, but I, it's not like one person is judging the other because of how they feel. That's just be friends. I, I lost know. a friend yeah. recently um, who was also a client over a comment. So I have this friend, and I haven't seen her in years. She... Um, Yes, Frank, I love you, man. She um, she moved to Delaware years ago, and I haven't seen her, but we stayed friends on Facebook. And I had made a post, and I ended up deleting the post because of the comments that were made. <coughs> um, but this one lady posted you know, her opinion, and then the other lady replied with her opinion, and she kind of backed it up with some articles you know this is what i think and this is why i think it and here's here's some articles right check this out and the other lady came back at her and like cussed her out and called her names and all kinds of stuff and before yeah. i intervene um and i did i said oh hold up a second we're not doing this on my page and i ended up deleting the post and i went to send the one lady a message and uh she had unfriended and blocked me because of something that the other lady had said. And I thought, well, that's kind of crappy. Wow. So in that situation, like if that's, you know, if you're going to dislike me because of something somebody else said, well, bye. You know, uh -huh. um, but it did make I, I'm a firm that because me and this lady have been in a, kind of business relationship for several years so but you know again if you want to hold somebody else's opinion against me see ya. you know yeah, I'm exactly okay with, i'm okay with that too you know um but anyway yes frank you did absolutely post things that make people smile and pee a little all day. <laughs> he, he also That's posts some really intriguing stuff. stuff sometime when he yeah. does his, his macro photography of the insects. I'm always like, yo, I love it. Yes. Yes. Andrew posts some really cool stuff. He does for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Why we're I cutting, don't... we find pieces along the way and we both just look at each other and then he grabs them up after and right. I had a he really he loves photography and he's good at the the it's editing, very, like the blacking out and stuff. I can't do none of that. That's yeah, I can't do thing. any of that either. I had an opal mine owner here in Southern Oregon here about three months ago. I posted something really innocuous. We were just having a conversation, me and some other people on my Facebook. Right. And next thing I know, he came on there and gave me an angry face and unfriended me. Wow. So yeah, it, it's unusual to see that. I mean, now you remember when we were doing the other show, the Rock Talk Lapidary, uh -huh. we had a couple of people on there that did get a little political and they were very, very stringent. Right. But 
they didn't fight or anything over it. They didn't say that because we didn't feel like they were. Right. Um, we were trying to guide them away from the whole political thing on a, you know, on a, on a public show. Right. But there was none of the thing, well, you're an idiot because you think that way or any of that right. stuff. But right. sometimes you, you just never know. Um, yeah. Yeah. And so I, I keep it as usually if I say something, if somebody's offended, they need to ask me because usually I mean it in some funny way that to me right. was really innocuous. And I didn't mean anything by it. Right. Um, right. So, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's sad to have to be so careful. It uh, is. Especially yep. it in is. the rock community. Do you remember back when it was um, like a spirited debate was fun? You know what I mean? And, and right. you, oh, yeah. you debated, you didn't argue, you just debated. You told your points, I'll tell my points. And at the end of it, we're still friends and it's not a big deal and we can all agree to disagree and just move on. It's just not like that anymore. And I no, think it's, it's really sad. I remember, yeah, I don't even remember it ever being like even debating. We would have conversations and be disagreeing and it just still be like a normal conversation that's just right. flowing yeah. like yep. nothing. Right. <laughs> I've been well known for – Brother, I agree with what you're saying, or if I don't disagree with what you're saying, tape, taking the opposite stand, just to have the, the conversation. Absolutely, yes. I, I can agree 100% with what you're saying in the conversation, but I'm going to jump on the bandwagon for completely opposite, just to have a conversation. Yes. <laughs> this Gary Green right here, I, I have blue. seen some of the most horrible fighting in some of the groups over Gary Green Jr. What is it? it That's is, not petrified wood. <laughs> right, yeah. They all, yeah. you know, they all want to call it pot. And when you present and say, hey, no, look, there were geological studies. There is no organic. And people get angry in the groups. And, I mean, they're snarled. And, and I'm like, yes. you know, guys, number one, it's a, it, it's a piece of stone, right? Right. Guys, okay, yep. so one time I had bought some Laramar, okay? And we, because we oh had wanted gosh. a piece to make some jewelry, okay? And we had a bunch of pieces left. And then I sold a piece of the Laramar, and it was kind of a little matrixy, but I sold it as such price wise. You know what yeah. I mean? It was way cheaper than all the other pieces that we sold. And this guy gets it and then goes into this group. It starts saying, oh, the Glacier Bros scammed me. They sold me fake Laramar. And I was like, whoa, whoa. I did not. And I was like, by the way, the group that you're in is owned by the man that sold the Laramar to me. So go ahead and tell him. <laughs> tell him how fake it is. You know, no, I'm serious. I'm I so that. serious. I was I love heated. It. heated. Yeah, it, it, was, it got really nasty. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll never sell anything fake to anyone ever. That's, rocks are so close to people that. The, the, yeah. politics are oh. nothing compared to a heated rock debate <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well, don't you know, call me a, a liar you know what i mean don't call me a liar or a, a thief like i would steal your yeah, money and give you something fake never yeah. do that yeah. and, and me and monica when we're doing shows we carry some geos that have been dyed pretty colors we carry stuff that is lab grown quartz People love them, but I could sell a, a real nice lab going quartz cluster for next to nothing. That if it was a natural one, it would right. be several hundred dollars. But right. we are also very, very open to our customer. Hey, that is not real. That's not, not natural. That's a lab grown or that is dyed. I'll tell them. I'm not afraid to sell it. I'm not afraid to sell it, yeah, but I'll tell you that it's fake. I'll tell you it's man-made. It don't matter to me. I'd rather lose the sell because they don't want to uh, lab-grown something than lie to a customer. That's right. It yeah. just ain't worth it to so me. You're going to know if it's stabilized, if it's heat-treated, if it's acid-treated, anything like that, you're going to know from us. Right. right. Exactly, 100%. And, and that's another really big debate. I see people, you know, you'll, you'll be in a group somewhere. Um, and I, I, I stabilize with a couple of different uh, things, you know, and you'll put something on there and somebody will come in and start telling everybody what a piece of junk it is and how, how nobody that's, that's a real artist would ever stabilize any kind of stone that if it has to be stabilized, it's not worth. And I see this all the time, all the time. Really? And That's like, optional. I think if you don't want, if you don't like, like my best buddy Courtney here, 
If I don't cut stabilizers. She doesn't cut stabilizers. But I don't stuff. bash people that do. Right? No, exactly. That's what I was going to say. You want to cut it feel free? free? I just don't. I prefer not to. As yeah. long as my after opinion, your jewelry's right? finished, you're looking at your customer and saying, this piece of turquoise and this necklace is gorgeous, but it is stabilized. Stabilized, right. right. And it's cheaper than if it wasn't. That's right. Yeah. That's well, why it's not $10 a carat. It's $2 a carat. You know what I mean? Days, there's, there's a difference. 60% yeah, that, of your turquoise these days has to be stabilized anyway because there's not a lot of yeah, the good stuff left. I, I think it's yeah. more like 90%. Is, is it that much now? It's a lot. Yeah. It's quite a bit, yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. Unless it's coming, hold on, like if it's coming from China and you're getting like Hubei turquoise, Hubei, a lot of that yeah. doesn't need to be stabilized and it's awesome. Right. You know, but yeah. American turquoise, oh yeah. Right. Oh the, yeah. The, the mines yeah. have all petered out and there's just not a lot of the good stuff left. Yeah. No? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's funny. I, I found, I got a a whole bag of turquoise nuggets, nodules, whatever you want to call them, from Ryan, I don't know, probably a year ago, maybe? Maybe not that long. And uh, I was, Dwayne and I were on the phone today looking through some, some rocks that I have here, and I found this bag, of, and I was like, dude, you want some turquoise nodules? <laughs> so I put a little care package together for him. I'm going to send him some of them. Uh, but it Frank, was kind I of cool. That. Yeah. I hope you know. I love that. What oh, Frank yeah, said. I love doing stuff like that. What Frank said. Everyone has a right to their opinion, but not a right to mine. Is that the one you're talking about? I am. Very much. Yeah. yeah. And that's exactly it. Right? Um, hey, Simon. Hi, Simon. Um, and that's what Frank said makes a lot of sense. Everybody yep. has an opinion. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. You're not entitled to shove yours down my throat, and I'm not entitled to shove mine down yours. It's real simple, right? Besides, I'm to... right and they're wrong. In your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, rather, do you feel like freedom would be just everybody oh, being Brandon. able to live well, together hey, and just be happy all living together with our own opinions? Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Everybody's everybody's always going to have a different opinion. You're raised different. You know different things. You know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't make any different person any less of a good person. That's right. Because of what their beliefs are. It's how you act, yeah. how you treat people. That's what that's what matters. But Sometimes it's just easier to agree to disagree and walk away. Yeah. And yeah. move on. <laughs> but think about it, though, too. Like, do you know how boring life would be? If everybody just Not had exactly the, same the same opinion and everybody was the same. Right. It would suck. Right? That's, that's half the fun of relationships and meeting people and, and experiencing things is. You have the right to be wrong. Our differences, exactly. right? It's our differences are, are half of what makes it fun. Yes. Peace, love, and rocks. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yep. Hey, <laughs> So, uh, if you guys don't know Miss Christine Silvernail, every time she's ever come into our show, she says, Hey, oh, H E Y O. Every time, nice, nice. <laughs> and yes, I'm polishing on a piece of rock with sandpaper right now. You are, you need to calm wet? down, Dave. Is it wet? <laughs> it, it is now, yeah. It's uh, <laughs> this is the this is the clearest African. Um, oh, uh, back up, God, man. You I, always get too close. Is it bloodstone? You you're too close. Yeah, it's African bloodstone. So nice. I just saw a speck of the green and go. the red right there. Yeah. You can see right the there. red. Yeah. yeah, African bloodstone is amazing. I love it. It's great and it's nice and hard. The varnish is insane. You yeah, got Zam? It's heavily silicated. Yeah. Do you have Zam? Yeah, absolutely. Zam, no, Zam, Zam rocks on that, dude. I promise yeah. you. You yeah, Zam for your final polish on that. You'll thank me later. This is a piece <laughs> left over from making a pop socket. And when I posted that thing, it's like 90 people said mine. And it was just, it was gone just like that. Oh, wow. yeah. It, sure. it just popped. That's the one thing I don't have any of is the African. I mean, I have carvings and stuff like that in the store, but I don't have any slabs. Dave, under. do you paint? Do I paint? Yep. You know, I, 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 can, I can paint a house. I can't Fair paint enough. a rock. 
No, I wasn't saying a rock. I didn't know if like if you got white pop sockets. If oh, you I have could like socket, yeah. cut a, a circle out that has say like a, a, a pie slice where it's clear, if you uh -huh. could draw something behind there and then put it onto where it looks like it's like part of a picture. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I was yeah. having an artistic brain for a second. I'll stop That's talking. That's an interesting concept, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Yeah. Christine, well, step, it's, 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 it's it just advancing a... your art, right? Right. So you already are like the pop socket guy. Everybody knows that. Yeah. But why not? Why not do like special art pieces? You could charge more money for them too. You really could. Yeah. Then you're then you're selling your art and your time, right. but a, people will appreciate it for real. Here's the problem with that. When I was in college, I had to take an art class, so I took stickman drawing. I failed it. <laughs> and I failed. I, I can't draw a stick man and get a decent grade. I, I have, no, you know, we were, t so we were talking about this actually at work today. Everyone, what we do as art. And so for me, this right here, that's probably the most artistic thing I've ever done in my life uh -huh. is to set it that camp. Just and, so and, you know, it, oh, yeah, thank you. It, your head should be this big about that right now. In some we're, ways we're, it we're is. proud of you, man. That's really yeah. cool it is such, for, sure. for a lot of people. That's such a rudimentary thing, right there. I mean, it's just it's easy, cool. you know. And they can do I don't know how to do that. I don't them, think right? that's easy at all. I think I'll cut any stone you want for the inside of that, but I don't know nothing <laughs> about that metal work. For me, this is art. This is because is. I am not an artistic type of person. So, man, I cutting the stone that went into are. that was art. Yes, you are. You absolutely are an artist. What are you? Well, what I have to work at it, though. Person? What kind of drugs are you on today? What is wrong with you? Well, but understand. <laughs> <when all laughs> so, for some, we're going like to badger me, you with this one, dude. That's not right at all. I don't have these abstract ideas of what. So, it has come to me slowly. It has really been piece at a time and piece at a time, piece at a time. So finally, I can do something like this right. where the really artistic people, I mean, these heavy artistic people, they look and say, oh, I'm, I'm, and they just start drawing and they draw out this beautiful thing and then they go and make it. I don't have that ability. What I, I do, I have to learn yeah. piece at a time. So so for me, a much more simple form of art for me is art when I have finally oh, yeah. mastered something and, and got it going. Okay. So I'm really proud of that one right there. There you go. There you go. Uh, Every pop talk wants... you ever made was art. Absolutely. And I finally beautiful. got to where I felt that way. It, it took me about 300 of them. It's okay. Uh, Christine has a question while we still have some time. Um, how does everybody market the things that you sell? I open my mouth. Okay. Brad? I, uh, That's I just the show shortest them answer you will ever hear from Dave. I'm yeah. Sorry. Go, go ahead. <laughs> I get all, all I all you could do is share pictures, tell people right. about it. I mean, there it, it's really to me rocks is one of the easiest things to sell because everybody loves rocks. They sell themselves. But if you're not out there telling people and showing pictures of it, that's the best. That's all you got to do to market it because right. it'll sell itself. Okay, Ryan. Um. Yeah, and I I think how you treat people really matters too. You know, because word word of mouth from other people's mouths travels faster than yours can. Absolutely. That that's for sure. So I mean, I don't I don't know. We even a lot of I see people do cutting shows like ours, not quite like ours, but they'll cut stones they just charge forty dollars to someone for, and it's all quartz. I don't mean like a little bit of quartz and then some agate. I mean, the whole thing was quartz. Like he cut it in a half a second. He's like, oh, here, you're so happy. Next. We don't do that. If, yeah. if we cut one like that on ours, we literally will grab another one. All of our customers, they type replacement because they all know what's happening. Yeah. You know? I love it I, when you I don't get people. That, it's literally you go and throw it. <laughs> yeah, I've thrown them across the room before. One time we got a batch in and every other one was was bad. I was getting mad. I don't like stuff like that. Go ahead. I'm just flashing Brandon. Well, put it up here. What do you mean? Let me see more than that. Can you make him large, Courtney? I want to see yeah. this one. Yeah. Um, I got this from Brandon. For That's me, why I flashed him at him. The marketing is, um, oh, that's pretty. 
Oh, I Market like it, buddy. Is Facebook, um, Instagram posts. I have a girl that does some social media posting for me. And then for the store, I actually have, I don't know if you guys get the blue envelope. You guys get the blue envelope, the bell pack envelope where you guys live. Um, we're doing that just to get the word out since we're in a wonky um, area. But word of, word of mouth is the biggest um, for sure marketing. Mm-hmm. And then for me, rock, for, 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 for me, love of lapidary is the biggest marketing because you guys tell me how great my pop sockets are and everybody else hears it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you need you need to be telling yourself how great your pop sockets are because they deserve it, dude. I've seen so many other people do a knockoff pop sockets or ones where they just go and they go and get little dyed pieces of agate and they glue it to the pop socket and they're like, right. oh, look, I right. made this pop socket. You didn't make that. Right. Yep. Like you, you put glue on it. That's not art. Sitting there and picking out the right exact stone out of a whole slab to be like, you know what? This is the piece that I really want to do. Cutting it out, gluing it cutting the edges, polishing the whole thing, and sitting back and being like, wow, I just made a perfect circle. I, dude, I don't know a lot of people that could do that, yeah. especially the way that it's you tough. do. It's not, it's not a big-headed thing. You're an artist. That's just how Absolutely. it is. You know what I'm proud of on these? I do not use a drill or anything else to get my round circle. I draw yep. that circle, and I do that on my wheels. That is, yeah. I don't use a, a drill or anything to get them round like that. And, and one of the greatest compliments – I've ever had because it was a lapidary Dave post, David uh -huh. Garcia, that I first saw a pop socket. And I thought, oh, pop socket. Yeah. I said, you know, my thing was the charity. We were we were trying to get these, you know, these kids, these rock tumors. I thought, oh, I can sell those. So I started trying to make some. And about, oh, I don't know, six months later, uh, Dave Garcia sent me uh, a message. And he said, dude, he said, I don't know how you get those so round and so shiny. And then he started calling me the pop socket king, you know, which really made me feel good because I have a really high respect for what Lapidary Dave does. I mean, he does some Absolutely. awesome work. Sure. And, it, you know, and you guys are my friends. I love it when you say those things like that. And you guys, you know, you're also artists. But there was something about when he said that to me really made me wanted to continue what I was doing. Right. Right. It only takes that one person. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, I didn't know you were a tattoo guy, Frank. No That's way. Awesome. Yo, dude. Yeah, where's Andrew? Where's Frank's a tattoo guy. Yeah. I ran a tattoo business for 12 years and never advertised 100% word of mouth, and I had a two-month waiting list. Yep. Well, I got to put that on my bucket list now. I need a Frank Brown tattoo. <laughs> Dang. Do you right? see this, Frank? What? What? I need a <laughs> Frank Brown tattoo now. <laughs> But you know, that's the way it really is. It is word of mouth. For the, yeah. I'm like that for our cleaning company. We've never advertised at all. I mean, I've got the, another business page for the cleaning company, but, but we don't, uh, I don't advertise. I don't cold call. I don't go out, you know, looking for business. All the, the business that we have has been business that has come to us. Well, by and it's the world. reputation that you have right. with, with that, that word of mouth. And it's what people are saying right. with that word of mouth about the work that you do. Right. Exactly. Yep. yep. Christine's, we used to do tattoos too. Really? Dang Basically, guys. Took You're off killing me. Years, but I feel like I've hit. Yeah. And, and you do. I think right now, um, I mean that, so you closed in 2000. Does that mean you don't do tattoos at all anymore ever? Come on, Frank. Let me be your last one then. I feel like a lot of people have plateaued, Christine, because not so much because of actually plateauing, but because of the economy. Yeah, right now I it's, just, it's just been slow. Yeah. It's been slow the last year or two. Well, um, you you better had your hands up swinging, figuring stuff right. out. I mean, that's... Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it's been for most people, honestly. Matter of fact, I got to order those... I gotta order those aprons. I gotta write that down too, because I'll forget. I opened my first computer store in 1996. In 1997, I moved into the third busiest intersection in the state of Idaho, and the only thing I had was just a little thing that they put in the phone book when you get a you know phone for your business. That's mm -hmm. the only advertising I had. 
in a year's time, I had six guys working for me on word of mouth because of the work that I did when I built computer systems or when I did a repair, um, the warranty that I put in, I backed up everything right. I said I would do. And, and when people start telling that, exactly. that's what makes your business. It's and your so, you know, service. Courtney, you have an expertise in an area that you do. And, and Ryan has one and, and Brad has one and everybody right. has, you know, Brad spheres, man, people just, they rave about the spheres and stuff that he makes. Mm -hmm. um, the, the slabs, Ryan, every time I turn around, somebody's talking about the material that they got from you guys that oh. you cut for them. And that is what makes your sales for you. I have a website. I can put stuff on my website all day long. But if I can't get people interested somehow through that word of mouth and going and looking at that website, look at the website. That's, nobody's yeah. ever going to go look at it and they're not going to buy. Right. Yep. Right. And Frank, I, I don't I, care if it's shaky, man. It's the point. Yeah. Just do a smiley face on his on the back of his hand. Um, <laughs> uh, Dwayne and I were talking about that today, too. The customer service aspect, right? The willingness mm -hmm. to build a relationship with your customers, the willingness to talk to people. Right. There's so many people today don't. They don't have that willingness to to show a customer that they care about them. Right? Some don't have the ability. They don't know how. Yeah. It takes yeah. practice. It does. It does. Um, yeah, but I, if more tr if more people treated more people that way, then the world would right. know. Exactly. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I like the way that this person yeah. made me feel whenever they treated me like this. Maybe I'll try treating somebody like that. You know I, what I mean? Yep. Yep, hundred percent. Do unto others. Do unto others, right? I just I just had a client at the hospital. We're in this room of ten computers. Everybody has to have headphones on. You sign an agreement that if you're listening, all sound must be contained within those headphones. I can't hear it next to you. I had to ask a guy who has a little bit of a problem to turn it down. He got very belligerent with me and he talked about having a power struggle. And I, and I told him all of the reasons why all of this wasn't going to happen. He got very angry at me, but he came in for the next period and he didn't say a word. And i tell you what I did. He was the last one to leave the room. And I told him, I said, hey, I want to tell you, thank you for the integrity and the honor that you showed in here by the way that you treated me and you kept that sound down without having to be asked. That is how you do customer service. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we are past <laughs> time. Is that why you tapped the screen? Why did you tap the screen? No, I went out of focus. Oh, I went okay. out of focus, but I'd like, share, subscribe, and turn the bell on. Please. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, dude, I, I feel nuts. I've been, today was rough, but I'm yeah. doing this. I'm doing yeah. this. You got it, man. Hold on. Yeah. You yeah. got this. You can do it, buddy. Oh, yeah. 20 years, I've done nicotine and stuff. Yep. I quit cold turkey after 17 years, three packs a day. 58, uh, 40, two years. 51 hours in so good for you i'm proud of you that's awesome it's it's for sure look, nicotine is the most addicting drug on the face of the earth second one, horrible. One, one drop of pure nicotine will kill you yeah, it will so um it, i worked it, in a vape shop having to mix juices for a long time you got to wear gloves it'll go through your skin yeah yeah, yeah. It, it's a hard it's a hard thing to to kick Anyway, thanks guys for being here. We love you. We appreciate you. Um, we appreciate your input and your conversation and just you. And uh, we'll see you next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. Maybe Andrew. Bye, -bye everybody. Hang out Brandon, next week. <laughs> Brandon, thanks for coming and joining us. Yeah. Good to see you. There you go. All right. See y'all later. Love you. Bye.